Welcome to Commissioner's Corner, an opportunity for your Jackson County Board of Commissioners to communicate and discuss items affecting the citizens of Jackson County. During this segment, we go beyond the headlines so you can better understand the process behind the decisions of your Board of Commissioners. And now, Commissioner's Corner, Don Scundrick, John Rasher, and Doug Breidenthal, working for you. You get the wonderful pleasure of dealing with the dollars and cents a lot of times as a county commissioner and you have to work through the budgetary process and, and always be thinking about the finance in the county. And that's great that you guys do that. Let's talk a little bit about that building that's going up over there uh, mm -hmm. in the old post office block that uh, is Health and Human Services. And, and I know that that, like you said, that's something you're going to be very proud of. But tell us, kind of tell me why that's going to be so important and how that's going to be such a great asset to the community and the citizens of Jackson County. Is it consolidates an operation that we are now presently using nine buildings to do to provide uh, those health and human services services that uh, the county is, is charged to perform. Here to four in nine buildings, the, uh, and uh, even under the great leadership of, of Mark Orndoff, who is our Health and Human Services Director and trying to keep everything coordinated and working together, but it's just, it's, from a business standpoint, it's just not effective or efficient, certainly. So if it's not efficient, it's not effective. And uh, our staff has worked really hard to provide, do those things that they have to do uh, under the current conditions. What this will do, with this almost 100,000 square foot uh, of, of space will do is put everything except for the veteran services and environmental health in one area uh, nicely laid out between children's services and adult services regardless of its mental health or public health uh, etc uh, women and children etc in an area where where managers can just walk down the hall rather than have to cry to cross East Main and or this and that to be able to talk and be or give Mark and his staff, the administrative staff, they'll be just right there. Uh, and knowing that group, they won't be sitting behind their desks. They'll be walking the halls. And, and for the patients, and most important for the clients, is that a, a client will be able to, to come into this building over here and have everything that he or she need without being directed, well, I'm sorry now, Mr. Brown, you're gonna have to go down here across the street and to building C down here. Right now, it's all gonna be right there. It's an incredibly laid out facility. And uh, it, it's just, we made good use. We spent a good amount of money on that, quite honestly. But, but again, through innovating uh, financing, we minimize the cost uh, to our general fund. Uh, it's interesting, governmental fin <laughs> financing and funding, but uh, uh, we knew those angles and we're able to do those. And that'll be an asset, that'll be a continuing revenue enhancer uh, way into the future after the building's paid off. So those kind of things, it's a, again, another win-win situation where we're, we're giving better service to our clients. We're doing it for a reasonable amount of money today and in the future, it's going to be a revenue producer to the, to the general fund. So I couldn't be more proud of that building. I know we get digs about how it looks, but, in, but I don't mind facing that head on. That, that, that isn't the original intent, but when we decided that we had to stay within budget, which was not an option not to, and we had to make a choice between do we want to fancy up the outside of the building or do we want the interior to do what it's supposed to be doing? We opted to put the money inside. And again, although it's not the most beautiful building, uh, let people come inside, let our clients talk to our clients. As we look at what's happening with healthcare in the United States, and a lot of, and basically Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act has basically said that the local governments or uh, local jurisdictions are gonna be able to start providing this health care services and they've expanded our role and function in the healthcare world. So as we look at our new building, our new building is designed to be able to accommodate the large numbers, almost one third of our population here in Jackson County now qualifies for some type of health care through these new systems. And to be able to really put that 
into a program that is feasible and works within the county and has some long-term benefits, uh, we decided to locate everything in one building so that you can have this comprehensive health care program as designed that we're supposed to be doing, uh, one-stop shopping, so to speak, for health care. So you can come in and get all your health care needs in one place and then be able to go home and, and know that it's taken care of. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that open in January and the results on the community and the positive results on the community on the backside. One of the reasons we did it is I said we had seven buildings out on East Main and each one of those buildings had a receptionist. Each one of them had a copy machine. Each one of them had a switchboard, you know. And so, uh, so by combining those into one location here, we've, uh, we're have we much more efficient. Plus we have room in there. I look, clinic is going to be in there. We're going to have a pharmacy in there. And it's right close to the bus stop. And so uh, people can, uh, a lot of the people that will be using that facility will be uh, bus travelers and uh, so anyway they can get off the bus station they're a block or two away from it and with the new uh, nationwide health plan coming on you know we, we there's no way we can handle it at the old facility we hope you enjoyed this edition of commissioner's corner if you have questions please contact your board of commissioners at jacksoncounty.org